In this video, we'll take a deep dive into the initial view options inside of Acrobat for PDFs. But I just wanted to start off here inside of InDesign because this is where many of you will actually create and export your PDFs from because many, but not all of those settings are available to you inside of InDesign. So file, export, we can export out two kinds of PDFs from within InDesign. The first one here, interactive, choose save, and there are some of those viewing options, those initial viewing options available to us. Let's cancel, file, export, PDF print, choose save, and there are the viewing options available to you as well. So again, guys, some of the options, but not all of the options you can actually set inside of InDesign before you export out your PDF. So let's jump into Acrobat just here. Now I have two PDFs on my desktop just here. Let's open up the first one here, New York. Okay, so if we wanna get into our initial view settings, we go up to File, Properties. Now I'm going to be coming in here many, many times in this video, so I'm just going to be using the keyboard shortcut, which here on a Mac is Command D. So let's just start under File, Properties. And here's initial view just here. When you come in here for the first time, you are going to be seeing description, but we'll be spending pretty much most of our time in the initial view option just here. So let's uh, pretty much systematically work our way down all of the options available to us inside of here. Now, navigation tab, which is the first one, you can see it's currently set to page only. Now I'm going to cancel out of here quickly because I want to point out this uh, document I created inside of InDesign and I spent some time adding a whole bunch of cool bookmarks. But of course, if you open this up, you don't know that those bookmarks are available to you. So if I actually open up the bookmarks panel, check it out, all these cool bookmarks, I can actually use this to navigate my way around the document. But of course, just opening this up by default, you don't know all of these are there. So up under the properties, under navigation tab, I would recommend if you have bookmarks, actually activate this option just here, bookmarks panel and page. So let me turn that option on, I'll choose okay. We'll choose File Save, and then I'll choose File Close. So I'm going to be just uh, doing Command S and Command W every time I save and close a file here, guys. So just moving forward. So Command S to save or Control S, and then Command or Control W to close the file. So let's reopen that file and check it out. Sure enough, the bookmarks panel has opened up by default, which is perfect, exactly what we need. So let's go back into our properties, and maybe let's just turn this back to page only. So if I save and close that, just to prove this is all working, if I open up that file again, fantastic, there we go, the bookmarks panel is not open. Okay, let's jump back into properties and let's look at the next option, which is to do with page layout. Now this is to do with the layout of single pages and double pages, so a better example is if I open up this coffee PDF just here. Now guys, I did a whole nother video where I take a very deep dive into the um, viewing options for multiple pages, you might wanna check that out. But just uh, quickly in summary, if I open up the pages just here, you can see this is a six page PDF. And if I actually change the view just here, so under view, page navigation, I beg your pardon, we want page display. If I change this from single view to two page view, actually let's choose two page scrolling view. You can see I have a whole bunch of uh, pairs of pages going on here, but they're not marrying up properly because I need to come up under the view menu, page display and turn off show the cover page. So now we get those pages nicely lined up. So up under the view menu, page display, we've got lots of options here, guys. We can choose single pages or double pages, whether or not we have a standalone cover page that we want to show. And all of those can actually be set in the initial view setting. So again, jumping back into our properties, down here, page layout. Now in this case, because the pages come in as pairs, and we don't have a cover page, I might want to set something like this, page layout. Let's go for say, two up continuous facing. So in other words, not a cover page, two up continuous. I'll choose okay. Let's save and close that. I'll just close this New York file as well. So let's open up our coffee file again. And sure enough, there we go, fantastic. So we are seeing our two pages side by side. Fantastic, let's close that and reopen the New York file jump back into our properties, initial view. So that was page layout. Let's look at magnification. It's currently set to default. Let's change this to say, actually before I do that, let me cancel out of there and point out for you, this option just here, 
which many of you would have seen. You can change the view to be the width of the document, or you can change it to be a full page. So for example, if I choose full page versus the width of the document, let's jump back into our properties because magnification is going after the same settings basically. So if I change this, for example, to fit page, choose okay, let's save and close, reopen my document, there we go, we've now got the whole page. Let's quickly jump back in there, magnification, I'll change that to say fit width, choose okay, save and close, reopen, there you go, we can see we are now at full width. So, or fit width, I beg your pardon. Let's look at the next option down, open the page, this is pretty obvious here guys, if I choose page three, choose okay, save and close, open that up again, and sure enough, if I open up the thumbnail section, you can see that I have indeed jumped to page three by default. So that was the open to page option just inside of there. Now, we have an option here called resize window. Now, before I show that, I might just change this back to uh, fit height, and I'll set that back to um, page one. I'll just save and close that and reopen that. So roughly getting back to where we sort of started. Jumping back into properties, here we go. So I want you to know, we can currently see the whole page, okay? But Acrobat is currently taking up nearly the full width of my screen. If I don't want that to happen, if I want uh, Acrobat itself to be more closely hugging the actual size of the page itself, I can choose this option just here. Resize window to initial page. Choose OK. So again, just take a mental snapshot of Acrobat finishing right over here on the right hand side. Let's save and close that. Reopen my PDF. And you can see it's actually resized Acrobat to hug the actual document itself. So let's actually go back in there and let's turn that off. Choose OK, save and close. I will drag Acrobat back out to be a nice wider size. And now if I open up the PDF, you can see that it doesn't actually resize Acrobat this time. Very nice. Back into our properties. Okay, we have an option here called center window on screen. Pretty subtle here. Notice guys, I've got a bit of a, a gap over here on the right. Um, it's flush up against the left edge just here. If I turn that on, save and close, reopen my PDF. All it's doing is it's just re, uh, repositioning Acrobat on the screen so that the left and the right spacing are actually the same. Let me just scoot that back over there. Jump back into our properties. And let's turn that off. And I'll just save and close. Reopening the game. Inside of our properties. Okay, now this next property is pretty important here, guys. It's open in full screen mode just here. Now, this is cool. Some people like to use it, but it kind of freaks your users out. And I want to show you why. If you choose open in full screen mode, I will save and close this. Let's reopen this. Now, in summary, this is basically telling the user that, yes, this is just opening in full screen mode, but people could be sort of using this for malicious purposes. So people generally freak out when they see this, they choose no, they close the document, they freak out, they think there might be a virus involved, all this kind of crazy stuff. So if I just do yes here, I just want you to see, it opens the document in full screen mode, which looks really nice. But again, you're probably going to freak out people if they're actually using this document. So I'm just pressing escape to jump out of there. And let's go back into our, excuse me, let's reopen that. See, it's going into full screen mode. I'll just choose no in this situation here. Jump into my properties and let's turn that off. So now let's save and close, reopen. And ah, very nice. We don't get that terrifying message when we open the document. Back into our properties. Now there's an option just here called show file name or document title. So what's all that about? Well notice just up here, the title of the document is effectively reading as New York PDF, which isn't great. So we can make this look nicer. In our description section, we can actually put a title on this document. So maybe I'll call it just New York and I'll come back into initial view and change that to be document title as opposed to the file name. So if I choose OK, and you can already see it showing up just there, but let's save and close that and reopen this. And there you can see it's now reading New York up the top. 
So let me just summarize that and remind you that the show document title option, you can actually set that title back here in the description section in that little title option just there. Very nice. Okay, this brings us to the last section here, guys. These are all kind of the same. I'll just demonstrate one, you'll get the idea. You can see, for example, I have all of my um, tools running just down the side here, just down the right-hand side, just here. If I choose to hide the toolbars, I'll choose OK. So let's save and close. If I open up that file, fantastic. You can see the tools are no longer showing, giving me a much cleaner interface. So diving back into our initial view options, that's pretty much all the settings there, guys. I know that was a whirlwind tour, but I hope it helps you in creating and then displaying your PDFs for other people to use. Alrighty, good luck. Catch you later.